YouTube, YouTube is the Buffalo Perch Killer. Getting ready to clean these bluegills and these couple sunnies that we got. Today was a pretty good day. Me and the Bass Assassin was out there uh, getting at them. We caught a ton of bluegills. Got 10 of them that we kept. Uh, three of them, three or four and eight of them. Four of them were donated to us by uh, Rich and his father. Thank you, Rich. Thank you, Rich's dad. For the three or four fish that you gave us, we appreciate it. Uh, I know you guys seen the video. I think the people are calling it a water dog, a water dog or a mud puppy. That's what I caught. But uh, this is what we got today. We got the bluegills. This is a perfect example right here. And this is a sunny. This is the sunny right there. It's got the yellow bottom, it's like the yellow belly bastard. That's where he got his name from. This sunny. So we got sunnies. Pretty nice size. And we got some bluegills. These are the bluegills. So we did pretty good today. That sucker, he don't wanna he don't wanna get to the knife, but he there. So those are those are the two differences when people ask. That's what they are. But I'm gonna I'm not gonna flay them off for you today, but I'm just gonna go through this one real quick. Same thing as the uh the perch. Let's see. Get behind that down. Gill plate right there. Hold this sucker down. Right along those dorsal fins. You guys know the deal. Bam. We're gonna get these cleaned up. We're gonna bag them in uh, water in the Ziploc bags. And then we're gonna mark the date and where we caught them from. And we're gonna put them in the freezer. That way we know when we caught them, where we caught them, and what they are. Got a little patience. I am tired, guys. YouTube, I had a long day out there on the ice. But it was very productive. We got into some fish. We uh actually got a lot of different reports on a lot of other fish that were there. I got a lead on some on some calico. So I'm gonna go get at those guys. Tomorrow's President's Day. I'm gonna take advantage of the day and Try to see if I can get a couple of those calicos. I know where they are. I just gotta go uh, get at them. I know where the, the bluegills were. They told me Friday where they were. I got an opportunity to go today. And sure enough, they were there. So, uh, try to get this one cleaned real quick. Take your time so you don't lose none of your meat. Bluegills are somewhat of a delicacy, you guys. I've watched some of the videos. See people around the country really enjoy bluegill. properly that's what you'll be left with all need to be gone off of it do it the right way YouTube YouTube Buffalo Perch Killer really appreciate your support all your comments if you guys don't comment to me, you'll find that the ones that do comment, I return your comments as soon as possible. Usually when I get back from fishing or when I get off of work. Sometimes I even return some of the comments before I go to work if it's uh if they're if they put on there late. If I got enough time before I run drinking my coffee, I'll return the comments. But these are the bluegill flays. Pretty nice fillet. 
if I do say so myself. But uh, you guys uh, keep hitting me up in the comments. We can speak through the comments. Uh, keep pushing that subscribe button. Like I said, I, I don't get paid for your subscriptions, but it does get, give me recognition throughout the country with all the other YouTubers that fish and stuff like that. So that's why we do it. Let's try to kill with it. Not kill. Clean one of these bluegills. Is this guy alive? Sunny. Yeah, he's alive. I'm going to wait on him. He's so, keep pushing that subscribe button. Keep pushing that like button. And, uh, I'll keep getting out there, getting these videos. The springtime is coming. So, the fish are really going to explode on us, is what they're going to do. we got a lot of different places planned to go fishing. Definitely want to take you guys along with us. Any questions or comments are all appreciated, good or bad. We don't run from them. But, uh, we really appreciate you guys watching our channel. Well, my channel. I keep saying our channel. And like I said, by the springtime coming, the fish, fish are really going to gonna pick up on us, you know, because all the waters are going to open up on the fish that we can't get at. We can get to them. It's going to be a lot of fish that are spawning. We're going to hit the pre-spawn with the bass. We're not going to be able to keep them, but we will get at them. We're going to hit the perch spawn. We're going to hit the, the white perch run. We're going to get at those. And like I said, I got a lead on some calico, so hopefully tomorrow I'll get enough rest tonight. We'll get to them. But if I don't, we still got some other videos planned for you guys. And, uh, we we'll get those. <laughs> you don't like that. Bluegills. Who would have known that we caught all the bluegills today? We didn't do good. We didn't even catch a lot of perch, but we caught a lot of bluegills. A lot of sunnies. A lot of them we had to throw back. They were too small. But uh, we did uh, we did get them pretty good. That's why we uh, a lot of the guys out there in, in the ice fishing community we share our our locations with each other. That's why we do the perch report. A lot of the perch reports you get come from some of the guys that are already out there on the lake. They give us some of the reports that we get. I pass them on to you, which is a good thing. The fishing community in the city of Buffalo, everybody's pretty close. So we try to keep everybody in the fish is what we try to do, keep everybody in the loop. So you guys keep pushing that subscribe button, and I'll keep these videos coming. But, uh... You guys get like the perch killer. You guys gotta be, you guys gotta be on it. You catch the fish if you're gonna eat them. I suggest that when you come in, get you a little bit of rest. Put the perch, put the fish on ice. After you take that little break, even if you gotta take a nap, get in that kitchen, get your setup going, and clean these fish up and properly freeze them. One of the better techniques I've learned to freeze them. Is to uh, put them in a Ziploc bag and fill the bag. A lot of the guys, actually, a lot of the guys are more serious than me. My partner Hawk at uh, at the bait store, he uh, Captain Bob's bait store, that is. He uh, he uses spring water to freeze his. It's fishing. Oh, yeah, I'm messing this one up. Hold on. Can't mess up my perch. He, he freezes his in spring water. So what you want to do is you want to fillet them. Put them on ice, like I'm doing here. And, uh... Man, I am really... 
Have a tough time with this perch. Put them on ice, then uh, get them all cleaned up. Rinse them off thoroughly. Put them in a the bag. Like I said, a Ziploc bag. And uh, let's see. Put them in a the Ziploc bag. Fill that bag with water. And then put them in the freezer. Perch fillets. These are the type of zip box bags I use. These are pretty good too. These are the, uh, this is a gallon. This is the one gallon bag. But I also got the smaller ones. One quart bags. Is that a quart? Yeah. One quart bags, the smaller ones, and the bigger ones. This is the one person size bags, and this is the family size bags. We put them in the freezer. Like I said, you just put the fish in there, fill it up with water, and freeze them. But I'm going to go ahead and get these fish cleaned up. And you guys stay tuned for the next adventure. We'll be out there. Push that subscribe button. Push the share button. Share the videos with your friends. And uh, I'll see you soon, YouTube. First killer out.